Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and today we're covering preventative maintenance for your three-phase electric motor. Following a maintenance schedule will help your electric motor last longer, perform better, and ultimately reduce downtime. You can consider this your motor maintenance checklist. We'll cover vibration, overheating, contamination, current, and voltage. At eMotors Direct, our mission is to streamline the motor procurement process, reducing the time spent sourcing motor replacements. If you're frustrated with back orders, finding in-stock alternatives, or just tired of waiting to get a simple quote back, give the team at eMotors a try. We're committed to helping you get back up and running. How often you perform preventative maintenance on your motor will depend on how old the motor is, how often you run it, and how critical the motor is. For example, in a manufacturing plant that runs 24 hours a day, you may want to complete this checklist every three months. For an especially critical motor, you may perform preventative maintenance more often than that. And an older motor will require more maintenance than a newer motor. Performing a regular motor vibration test is a great way to get ahead of downtime. Vibration is one of the most common ways to shorten your motor's overall life. Vibration may be due to damaged bearings, unbalanced or poorly aligned loads, or poor quality power supply. It can damage other parts of the motor and cause loose electrical connections. Vibration is especially harmful to bearings. It reduces the lubrication's ability to reduce friction. Even minimal amounts of vibration can dramatically reduce the service life of the bearing. Here are my five tips to manage and prevent vibration. Set up a testing schedule with vibration analysis tool. You can also install a motor vibration sensor to track the motor at all times. On larger motors, check the condition of the bearings. Most bearings will run for five to seven years without any issues. So set up a schedule based on how old your motor is and how often you run it. Using a bearing tester, you can check for excess noise and heat. Some of these testers will give you a red, yellow, green rating for the bearing condition. Ensure that the motor and load are securely mounted and properly aligned. Check that the voltage and current are within nameplate specs and that the phases are balanced. Make sure that electrical connections are tight. Overheating an electric motor is a sure way to reduce the motor's service life. It's especially harmful for winding insulation and bearing lubrication. So, what causes electric motor overheating? When the motor's operating at full torque at low speed, heat can quickly build up inside the motor. In TEFC motors, the fan is powered by the shaft. So, if the motor is turning slowly, so is the fan. The motor doesn't have the ability to cool itself quickly enough. Here are my three tips to manage and prevent overheating. Bearing lubrication breaks down under excessive heat. Lubrication should be changed regularly to ensure it's properly reducing friction. Check out our video on motor lubrication for a step-by-step -step guide. Test the temperature of the motor during your maintenance checks. This can be done with an infrared temperature gun. Test several spots on the motor and check the same location each time you test the temperature. This should be done while the motor is running. You can also purchase sensors that monitor temperature levels at all times, alerting you when your motor has started to overheat. If the motor is stopped and started frequently under load, make sure that it is fitted with a soft starter or VFD, enabling it to accelerate smoothly without drawing excess current that builds up heat inside the motor. A lot of motors come into contact with dirt, particle debris, or moisture. These contaminants can interfere with the cooling of a motor and damage its bearings. It's important to know how to clean your electric motor without damaging the internals. Ensure the ventilation ports and fans are clean. Use a brush or compressed air to clean the outside of the motor regularly. Extra debris on a motor could affect its cooling ability, so here are my suggestions for your next maintenance check. Check contacts and relays. Clean them if you notice any contamination or corrosion. And keep motors free of moisture. Moisture can lead to corrosion that damages the motor windings, bearings, and electrical connections. The exception here is washdown motors, which are built to protect the motor from a degree of moisture. For maximum service life, the voltage and current must be within the nameplate specs. Under voltage causes the motor to run poorly, and can create damage in the windings. Current spikes, which can occur during fast acceleration under load or sudden changes in the load, can cause heat damage. If your motor uses a strong current but has current spikes, consider using a soft starter or VFD. Also, ensure that the motor has a strong connection to the power supply. Voltage dips and spikes can occur if there's a poor connection. If voltage spikes are found, a line reactor may be required to smooth it out. If the voltage at the motor is consistently lower than the voltage at the power supply source, check for long cable runs, loose or bad connections that may be causing a voltage drop. 
Using a voltmeter at the motor while under load, you can work backwards to find the issue. A high current on one leg may also be a clue, and even a visual check of the contacts can be a good test. And lastly, make sure all the connections have equal voltage and currents. And there's your preventative maintenance checklist for three-phase motors. I hope this helps you get a longer life out of your motor. Have any other tips for maintaining motors? Leave it in the comments below. And thank you to all our subscribers following along. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's electric motor supplier. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.